All right, people, part two. That is putting fuel in this thing and oil. Now, it says, what did it say? <clears throat> 500 mils, well, okay, 500 mil fuel tank. And uh, 60 mils of 10W30, which is not that. This, just stuff I already bought. This bottle, I didn't pay that 45 bucks. I didn't pay that because when I bought that, came with it. As that Briggs and Stratton DOV that um, people complained it didn't, um, it, it, it didn't, um, it used to bog down, didn't rev too hard. Look at me other videos. One of my videos, I do cover that once you run that in. It, um, you make one little adjustment and the engine revs up fine. Good power. Now, back to, <coughs> back to this thing. It says 60 mils, right? I've gone, I've actually, I've, I put 70 in. Didn't mean to do that, but. Sitting on a nice flat bench. Now, if you look, well, I suppose you are looking, aren't you? You're looking at the screen right now. You got the high mark is virtually, yeah, just in there. It's um, the mark on this. Is pretty much just at the base of this hole. So, if there, if you are, if you take this out, if, and oil is at the base of this hole, she's right. That's virtually it. Just r roughly on the base of that hole. Which, uh, well, let's do it now. Let's put the oil in. Coming up pretty good. You can see that in there. Well, I can see it in there. Well, it took the whole 70 to get out to that hole. So, maybe 60 mils must be the bare, the minimum that's allowed to be in there. Oh no, well look. I think you can have that. You can have all of that. We can see what's in there, but it's for you, you people. We like to get anal about it. Unless something catastrophic happens here, I won't even worry about warranty. All work will be done myself. Well, you can see it there. 
Beautiful. So that caters for tilting and stuff while operating the machine. Well, right, I'm going to put that in and get some fuel and put it in there. And then uh, we're going to start this thing up. All right, well, full tank of fuel. Don't know how well you can see this, but turn that on. Now it says press prime six to ten times. Never been run well in saying never been run. I'll show you. The primer is under there. Hit that ten times. Now there's oil. Hang on. That's a joke. Up closes the choke. Once she's kicking and running, down. So I'm going to do that just that, and you can see it. Windows are open, doors open. This place is ventilated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Rifle works. I've already spun the motor a few times. We've just getting the oil splashed around. It was wet inside, so they've given it a kick, made sure it was right to go before they sent it out because there, there was oil in the sump where they've had it in there, started it and then drained it out for shipping. That's just idling. I'm not even revving it. for a bit and what I'm going to do because I expect that we're going to be able to clean this I'm going to show you something that I've just worked out so I'm going to pause this after running it and um, well after running it for a bit I'll take the front cover off so we can look at the motor and look at how to get inside and clean it so give me a sec all right, this is what I wanted to show you. Got this. Phillips head. I reckon undo that one. Oh, where is it? One here. Nothing else here. Two, three. 
Four. Crack them, have a look, because I reckon you, you've got to be able to get inside there and clean these things. And uh, I had all the weird and wonderful smells coming from the motor as I was running it, so that was interesting, which is expected. I'll get those four off and uh, we'll look inside. But oh, hang on. Four stroke, petrol blower vacuum. Get to look inside there. My last video where it said side valve, I'm not too sure now. But um, I'm not too sure because look at this. There is something there. There's allen keys in the box too, so I'm going to get those four bolts or four screws, look inside, and look at the features of the engine. In the last video I was wrong, it is an overhead valve. Because uh, the block is a single casting, yeah, like the um, Hondas, the combustion chamber is around, well let's look at the motor. Combust the valves come up, there are your ports in there, you can see them. The combustion chamber is in this area and the piston just moves up and down here and the rest of that is all head now this is a separate piece to the other stuff it goes on here let's look inside at the features that's the air filter and uh, that's not oiled well let's oil the air filter Bit of oil left inside that little reservoir, so in it went. Now, my brush cutter was the same. I do this with all of them. You'll be surprised at what we'll catch in here once you oil it. So, um, yeah. In dusty conditions, you want that to catch the fine dust. Which it will now do. So, yeah, this was pretty straightforward. Um, Yeah, it was those those bolts, like I said. Um, just go and line yourself up. Goes in there, in there. This just um, clicks up there. Protects the fuel tank. Um, and uh, the other part, which is next to here. Just locate, oh, recognize what shape it is. Okay, the choke, the choke lever goes in that crevice. And, uh, now you can adjust the fuel mixture too. Well, that's always handy to be able to adjust the fuel mixture. Just, um, work it out. You've just got to. It's hard to show you people this, you've just got to work it out. That's a bolt there, hole there. Really hard to get in there actually. That's got to go inside that hole. And then, aha, pushes inside that hole. That hole lines up with there. you got to wriggle it around to get it right. So that comes forward and that comes out. If you're looking at buying one of these and you finally do, yeah, that's figure it out for yourself, but it's very easy to get in there. Spark plug is there. They've actually used the rocker cover for the valves as the, like the gasket as the heat shield which goes up and over and in there and uh, I can tell you now that this engine got rather hot and you got this gasket they've used for the exhaust they've just continued it out here, they've really gone cheap but um this got hot like 
you could it was noticeably hot around the um, around the plastics and stuff. So I'm just making sure that their silly gasket thing isn't restricting airflow to the engine that keeps it cool. So let's have a look. It's pretty all right. I dare say the airflow comes in from the fan and comes up through here. So that should be pretty right. I dare say it's fine. It would be. But um yeah, got all the funny smells and stuff. It's got to be run in yet. But um yeah, it starts up pretty good. Um as a four stroke would just boom starts no dramas and um, that's a mixture screw probably shouldn't touch it but I might get the special tool that does that and just see because um, it's always good to fine tune the way it's it's sweet not too rich not too lean but sweet which um, I dare say that's where it is now, but um, put this back together. Simple case of um, putting the phone down so I can do it with two hands. There's something I want you to do. I've got a container, I didn't mention it before. You've got three different kinds of screws. These two, alright, this, this, um, this one with the rough thread. Right. The one with the rough thread goes in the, this top hole. All that is, it's biting into plastic. You got one fat, one fat screw that holds the side cover on for your air filter in that hole. And then these two narrower ones, skinnier ones, side by side go in there so the, the rough look do not try and stick that rough one in there you'll ruin the threads so make sure you get it all right those two in there the, the real rough looking one in there and then the fatter version of these two in there which is what I'll do right now now that the screws are all back in this goes in here, goes back up in there, and down. Now I should just start up with a simple pull. been running. I'm not going to prime it and I'm not going to hit the choke. I'm just going to pull the string. that started raining out there which is uh, a bit annoying but um, oh, it's night time too but hopefully it's good tomorrow because I've got two parks that I've got to do well one's done one is halfway done um, um, more to look forward to in uh, further videos is I picked up another engine and it's not any of these it's um well if you remember my other engine the Kubota got another one like it and that's going to be another video I'm not going to give you too many um too many um spoilers there but uh 
If you ask me, very cheap, nasty plastics. I'm not going to worry about warranties. Just push that back in. 170. Look, I, probably, I wouldn't pay more than that anyway. When they were asking 200, I was a bit. There you go, on, but $179. Yeah, okay, that's a bit better. So, take a punt. Sounds good. Heck, if it lasts me a year, great. It's paid for itself. Let's put it that way. Um, I just change the oil regular and, you know, give it more than what you're supposed to when it comes to services and cleaning and stuff. Just really look after it. And um, keep on top of everything. So, there you go. I have not seen another Audi blower video on there, so... That's why I did this, and I tried to cover any, everything I possibly could. If you uh, have any questions, leave a comment, whatever. Um, I've got this thing, so obviously I can help you out the best that I can. First of all, yeah, you can get inside. All filled set screws. If you get something stuck in there, yeah, you can get it off. Pretty easy. Um... Yeah, so comment, whatever. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'll do what I can to help you out. Because, uh, yeah, if, if I look into certain things that you might ask, hey, I might learn something too by just looking in there and having a sticky beak. So we both get something out of it. Um, until next time, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next video.